Welcome to the Raven Tape Drive-In. Tonight's showing is the Serious Sam Collection. And I'm your host, Mr. Raven Tape. So, this is the first time I've ever played any sort of Serious Sam game. I'm going to play on easy. Uh, because, from what I understand, is there's some difficult parts in this game. And yes, I am copying out by playing on easy. I'm probably pissing off some fans for doing this. But I'm looking to have some fun, not blow some brain cells, that's all. And here we go. Ah, a text crawl. Awesome. I'm guessing the entire story for this game will be in this text crawl. Egypt. Was it 1378 BC? Okay, so we've gone far back in time. So yeah, this is the uh, first encounter HD version of the game. I have to admit, I'm not good with these kind of games where you have to keep moving and shooting. I'm used to my cover shooters. But considering that I do I have dabbled with Pain Killer and Doom, I'm sort of ready for this one. Sort of. Yeah, I'm guessing it's not like Terminator where you land on your knees and you can stand up and do this whole uh, uh, intro to yourself. Ready for battle. Oh, hang on. Got to put the subs on for you guys. I missed, I must admit, I do like the way the layout of the uh, menu is. And nothing changed. All right. Good start, good start. So casual, he just whistles along. Well, it did say in the text scroll that he has done this multiple times already, so. I've got no idea where I'm going. So this is all, like I said, all new to me. Ooh, dual wielding. All we need now is a cowboy hat. Yeah, it's all fun and games until somebody loses an eye. Okay. 
Okay. I hope I can get out of here. Well, that was easy. Straight to outside again. Oh, one thing I am going to practice in this game is the old bunny hop. Uh, if anybody in comments can tell me if the rocket jump is employed, that'd be great. Not that I know where any of the secret rooms are or things like that. It's just with these old games that things like bunny hopping and and rocket jumping is just half of the course, really. You know, the way the, the view is done on this, I might have a look into it later, but it looks like he's got his hands right up under his chin. So maybe I can draw that, the, use the draw distance or something like that and draw it back a little bit so he doesn't look like he's got him right up under his chin. Oi, you cheeky bastard, where'd you come from? Yeah, it's probably going to annoy some people, but if I can get into the habit of it, I can maybe move a bit quicker in some spots. Oh, doesn't that water look inviting? I could use this swim right now, actually. Get out of the suit. Shotgun. Yeah, An old baby. favorite for the for everybody who's ever played these sort of games. Shit, I didn't even notice they were following me. Uh, so I get the feeling that this game will have the quake syndrome. For those that don't know what that is, it's basically you go into a room, enemy spawn, and if you die in that room. It's alright because when you go back into the room again, uh, after being respawned, the enemies respawn in the same spot again. So it's basically learning patterns. Yeah, that was level one. That was quick. Alright, we're back outside again. Oh, shit. Oh, yourself. Uh oh. Oh shit. I'm glad they have some splash damage. It's not like when they blow up, they don't just take out themselves, they can take out almost everyone else. Look at all the giblets. I didn't realize this game was going to have a bit of gore in it. It's not Splatterhouse level gore, but it's up there. Ow.
Come over here, you stupid headless freaks. Uh, we're not trying to encourage them, Sam. Yeah. Ooh, they, uh, fuck. So there's gonna be environmental traps now, is there? That's interesting. Come over here, you stupid headless freaks. Uh, uh not this time. Yeah, Sam kind of hit the nail on the head on that one. Oh, damn, there's so many of them. You'd think they would form a choir or something in their spare time. Why? Toads. Why does it have to be toads? At least they pop easy. Oh, what's in there? Oh, a Chicago typewriter. Now that's what we're talking about. so far. Except for the environmental kill. That doesn't count. But yes, I would like a death counter at the end of this series of videos. It's like portals in this sort of game. It's not a great idea. Ow. Alright, at least they've got some sort of variation in the uh, environment so far, even though it's all brown and, and whatnot. Ah, not going to catch me this time. I saw you the first time. Get a little bit more practice in on that bunny hop. If for anybody wondering, no, I'm not going to speed run this or anything like that in the future. Bulls now too. Um, it's just basic old habits that are sort of kicking in, so to speak. Their design kind of reminds me of the uh, Jeff Wayne's uh, War of the Worlds, the musical, the Martians design. They were awesome. Can we just admire the fact that he's doing this in a t-shirt and, and jeans? Like, he doesn't need armor or anything like that. I'm guessing this is the first of the many time locks we're supposed to catch. Not catch, but grab or whatever. And that was level two. They're not very long levels, are they? But then again, probably playing on a harder level di difficulty, it would probably make the levels much longer. 
well not longer but more difficult I was gonna say difficult but more of a a chore at times maybe to get through levels Reminding myself just to keep moving, don't, you know, don't stop. And that pitter patter of those shoes. God damn, or hooves, I think they're hooves. I'm sure on higher level of higher levels of difficulty, um they are something to be feared, without a doubt. Wait, oh my. what happened to its arms and legs? That's not a glitch, is it? Or is that a variation of the monster? I think that's a, var a variation. Alright, we're moving pretty good so far. I'm waiting for the first um, wall to hit us, so to speak. Wait, did he just have something sticking out of his head? In these sort of games, you can't go wrong with a shotgun. Sometimes, the whole experience of these sort of games uh, weighs on the shotgun itself. If the shotgun's no good, sometimes, if they don't have a good backup weapon to do it, it can all fall apart. I've seen the cover, I think it's the artwork for when they did the uh, rela original release of the HD First Encounter and uh, to me, if, I, if it's the correct game, he had a chainsaw in his hand. I'm wondering if I'll get my hands on something like that down the track. Jesus Christ, that was a spawn spot. Alright, what's next? Okay, don't like tight corridors at all. What the fuck is that down the hallway there? I was trying to figure out if, um,. That little blinking icon that looked like got mail in the corner. I was trying to figure out what button that was. No, nope. gotta go this way. Oh, now I get a closer look at you. Look like a scorpion king. They got scalped. that lamp okay I'm guessing that was my exit back there well 
right now I'm trying to figure out I noticed that red heart a bit back a bit further so I'm trying to figure out where that is I can see the these sort of games be Quake, Doom, Duke Nukem, Serious Sam, or even Painkiller being really good speedrun games. Like you could learn the layout of multiple levels because they're short. Oh, not going to get up there. Of, like I say, multiple levels because they're so short. You could probably get some excellent records out of it. Nope. Now, why did I go that way? Let's try again, eh? Yeah. So it's health, eh? Not something I would ever disagree with. Just doing the last round checks, just to make sure I haven't missed anything. That guy who explodes every time you shoot him, he must be the life of the party for these invaders. Always super excited to get into things. that armor up there? Okay. No, okay. So you can't go back. Right. Good to know. Uh, that, was that, like I was going to say, was that armor up there? Because if that is, I'd love to know how you get up there. I don't know if I'll give it a try though. need more ammunition in these situations. I still gotta get it through my head to keep moving, don't I? Don't worry about bunny hopping or anything like that, just move. Ooh, double barrel shotgun. Get away from me. Nope. It's... It's a nice double barrel shotgun, but it's not as nice as the super shotgun from Doom. That's... That's something I hold very dear to my heart. Especially that new design in uh, Doom Internal. With the... I guess you would call it a grappling hook on it. And the way you get it, it's brilliant. But... We always got to use what we have at our hands. And it floating in the middle of the room there is very suspicious. It's as if they knew I was coming. I really don't like these things. Ow.
Do you get um weapon upgrades? I know you that weapon will you probably will be able to collect multiple weapons, but do you upgrade them at all throughout the game or not? So if anybody doesn't know, the uh, collection actually comes with one to three, including the DLC packs. For I think the Serious Sam two and three got DLC packs. Um, no, it wasn't bundled with four, which was a bit of a bummer because I. That's how sort of this game fell on my radar because of everything I had heard about Serious Sam 4 that it was basically a train wreck I don't know what it's like now but when it first launched it wasn't great oh my god look how ugly they are they're like a Prime, what do you call them? These fish that have the sharp teeth that eat almost anything. Uh, piranhas? Yeah, piranhas. They're like a toad cross piranha. I'm gonna give it up. The uh, char the uh, character, the the monster design in this is interesting. It definitely fits the world of Serious Sam. I'm curious to know what's next in the design and whatnot. All right, time to go. Yeah. Or not. What? What? The, oh fuck. Turn into the big into the big red meaning. I'm guessing they're another very I wouldn't say they It's like they grew up. It's kind of a bummer, you could have had a boss fight there, really. So this, oh, an attack knife. That's when you get down to desperates. mission three level three that was a little longer this time which is good wait didn't we cross through this room already we'll keep moving anyway ah. I noticed they're adding a little bit of green here and there, which is nice. It gives some variety, little color scheme variety in the level design. Not that I would know the, know the first thing about the level design, but it's as as somebody who's viewing it, you kind of want that. You kind of want that variety in color because if it's like a lot of modern day movies or grain drab, it becomes very boring, everything blends into itself. It's sort of like uh, when you play like Need for Speed Payback or, or any Need for Speed games that have day, a day-night cycle in it. You'll notice that their daytime in some of those games are very bright and vivid. And it's nice to look at because it contrasts with the the darkness of the night. 
I'm mostly talking crap at the moment because even though I'm enjoying myself, there's not much to really talk about. <laughs> oh fuck me, another bull. like to see new variants of monsters. I've seen it up close, it looks like a giant brain with just... It uh, reminds me of the... Uh, oh, fuck me, it looks like Goro. Um, uh, the last monster kind of looks like a uh, cyber demon. Uh, what do you call them? The spider ones. Somebody please in the comments let me know what it is. Serious firepower. Hang on, health bar. What's that mean? Oh shit, Gora grew up. Just hold down the uh, fire button and just pray for the best. This is getting serious. Without a doubt, it is. doesn't hurt. Alright, so that'll be my target. Whatever that is floating above. Oh, doesn't that water look inviting? I really need to go for a swim. Wait, what? Oh shit. Ow. No, I don't want to be the meat in the sandwich. Go find someone else. And you're back again, Scorpion King. I'm sure that's not what the... Uh, monster's name is, but it reminds me so much of the Scorpion King. Oh, I don't think it's a glitch. It's just a variant, that's all. I tell you what, they move quick, don't they? <laughs> I like that. That the monsters even can harm them, uh, their friends, so to speak. It's like they left a friendly fire on. Tell you what, at the moment, this double barrel shotgun is no joke. <laughs> Missed it. Oh shit. They pack a punch, don't they? Right, now I can collect it. I wonder if any of this level design uh, was inspired by real, like, ruins of the Egyptian pyramids or temples. Now 
spawning behind me and that's not fit. Oh, I just didn't see him, one of the two. Okay. Bring it. This is my boom stick. Sorry, I had to throw that reference in there. For, for those of you who know what it is, props to you. I'm starting to get learn the uh, methods a little bit where once they start throwing a lot of ammo and health at you, something's up. Not that it doesn't hurt, but it instantly sets off something that something's wrong. Okay, what was that? Oh, here we go. That's better. I'm just going to quickly flip through these. If anybody wants me to slow down so that they can read them, uh, please let me know. I can do that in the next video. Right. Finally, on top of those emails, I guess. Ah, you pricks. You have just entered, or passed, sorry, through the wall of darkness. What's that mean? Ooh, another heart. Okay, um, wait, what? hang on a second, I can't get out? There's nothing going through there. Still can't get through that wall. Sort of. Oh, shit, here they come. Tippy tappy shoes. Get them away from me. Right, can we pass through now? I know this is a trap, but 
that heart looks too inviting. Come on, you ugly freaks! Hang on a second, they can slip through the bars? Why can't I? Are they meant to slip through the bars? Seriously, is that the best you can do? Don't poke the bear. Uh oh. Ah, oh, at least they can't slip through yet. Oh shit, gates are up. I'm probably annoying somebody just using this double barrel shotgun, but at the moment it seems like the most powerful weapon I've got in my arsenal. Until something else comes along. Right. Everybody sorted? Good. Ooh, what's this? Ah, you prick. I wanted to watch that cutscene. If it was a cutscene. Alright, why are you glowing? Alright, I'm going to stop talking about it now. No? Alright. No, I've pressed that one, didn't I? And there's nothing but the staff. Okay. That's glowing again. It does nothing. Hang on a second. Ah, oh, okay, I get it. Yeah, right. Still nothing. Alright. I am blind as a bat in this. I'm going to close that. Still nothing. Alright. There's nothing generally in this room here. So it must be in the pool. Oh, there you are. I'd like to know how he swims with his gun still drawn like that. I know it's fantasy and whatnot, but it'd be interesting to see something actually swim like that. Finally got some bullets for the uh, typewriter. Goddamn toads. It's like the plague. Was that that was frogs, wasn't it? Not toads. Get away from me. They're what, these are what you call a pest enemy, or I don't know if that's widely known or that's just me, but if they hit you and they explode, like they're a one hit enemy, yeah they're a pest of an enemy because they're the ones that sneak up behind you. Can't go wrong with this. And it felt like I was wasting rounds for the typewriter anyway. Oh, please let this be outside. So I'm guessing that was mission four? They're going so quickly, I, I don't think I can keep count.
Yeah, I'll go with a shotgun. Alright, so we're underground. Like, what was that? Let's see what the rocket launcher has to say. Secret portal, or trans te teleporter, sorry, found. It just shot me across the other side. So that was mission four. I think. Oh, look at this vibrant green jungle life. Lush look. See, now this is a welcome sight from the last four levels. Here we go again. He doesn't get a, um, uh, what do you call it, a jetpack at any stage, does he? Or was that wishful thinking? I swear, when the ammunition appears like that, the same way that the uh, enemy appears, I don't know if it's ammo, ammo drops the enemy, or it's, um, uh, or it's for me, like somebody's trying to help me along the way, which is fine by me, that more ammunition is in health points, beautiful. Where are these green orbs? They must be a gore somewhere here. They're fucking annoying. <laughs> Right. There has to be a better way to knock these things out. And you need your good typewriter, which is a good sign. Ah, there he is over there. What are they, harpies? Short versions of harpies or something? Either way they die the same. Shotgun's not the best weapon for this. This will do. We can pretend we're playing Duck Hunt. Now who remembers Duck Hunt? Unfortunately, before you even think about it, that game was way before my time anyway. Yeah, let's answer rockets with rockets, eh? Back again. I'm guessing this is the only way down. Hope so. Okay. Oh, here we go. Oh, shit. I really tried to corner me. I, I'm thankful for the delay in them stopping and trying to take a swipe at you.
crap, we got the seven letters again. So he really loves me. Now, I wonder if there's a place in the, the world that looks exactly like this. This would be wonderful. I think this is just cheating now. <laughs> Quick game of Duck Hunt. Even though I cheated at the start. Yeah, that's impressive. You didn't have to run around and try and get close to it. I do like the range on some of these weapons, they're like, no joke. I'm sure it's to help you motiv get motivated to keep enemies at bay at all times. Oop, down into a deep dark hole. Straight into a, a lovely little dip. Like that. <laughs> More secret entrance entrances. You know, I'm wondering if uh, Sam was briefed at the before he came to Egypt. He was briefed about a layout or something because you could say that. It's suspicious that he knows where he's going. Or he has a general idea on where he's going to go. Yes, I know I'm playing and all that, but... You get what I mean. Oh, shit, he's back here. He spawned you. Unlike the British band, that was actually enjoyable. go again. It's not too bad. Just one of them. Oh, there are the harpies. Oh shit. Okay, in situations like this, it's best to go with the original plan. Spray and pray. And hope for the best. Did I just shoot that rocket? Oh shit, I did too. Okay, that's interesting. What is that bird? Are they the harpies? Yeah, by the sounds of it, yeah. Is that all of them? Better check. Game stuff, huh? It came it seems like cheating when they hit the ground like that. Ooh, 
Ooh, a new weapon. What is it? Grenade launcher. Alright. I'm, assu I'm assuming I'm supposed to be using the grenade launcher here. But, um, it just seems fitting to go with old faithful now. Eventually, had it. they'll have to stop coming. Ow. I love it when you can shoot them out of the sky and they just just scatter all over the ground. Here we go. Oh, oh, health bug. Oh god, it's like my worst nightmare. If they look like when they're slowed down, they look like they're taking a swan dive. This is when you need a... Even though the typewriter is doing a good job, this is when you kind of need a uh, Gatlin gun or something really punch a hole in it. This should do the trick at least. Keep going, keep going. Really there. This must be a bitch of a, uh, a boss to take on in on higher levels with difficulty. This would do my head in. Well, maybe it's one of the easiest ones. You never know. Great damn it. <sighs> well at least they give you a restock after the uh the job. We're not out of the woods yet.
gotta have fucking cards again. Fuck off. Right, is that everyone? Yeah, finally. I hope I don't have to memorize the order I'm getting them in because otherwise I'm stuffed. And with that, we come to an intermission. I hope you enjoyed yourselves tonight. Because I really did. And until the next showing, good night.